husband and everybody else will focus on the business aspect. Now, not not to take that away. Not not to take that away because, you know, somebody gonna try to come in there and be like, yo, you know, all I'm 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 doing this for I'm Yo, 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 check one, two, what's going on? What's going on, y'all? How y'all feel today? This is Lockout Man. Welcome. Welcome to the Lockout Man podcast show, the show that is for new drivers, the new jets, the new students, the people that is find my content any of value you know what i'm saying yo i hope the information that you guys get from here is some good information that you can use you know news that you can use that's what's up that's what's up welcome welcome again to the lockout man podcast show thank you very much yo again if you guys feel that this is value over here yo why don't you hit that like button 25 likes 50 25 views 15 likes yo this this just help a brother out it works it's free it does what it's supposed to do and it does help out the channel immensely so when you see that like button hit that like and uh and show support for the channel what's going on everybody welcome to another commentary this time i am not on the video that's what's up that's what's up but i did come across this post that I want to bring up to you guys. And I think this goes for all new drivers that's thinking about being an owner operator or thinking of going lease. Look, I, I know you guys see the money. The money is there. The money is to be made in leasing. Some leases you just get in and go grab your money and get right back out some leases helps you towards being an owner operator of the truck some leases are good and definitely some leases are bad but just make sure that you learn the business first all right so i just want to say from this post that i saw on youtube not YouTube, I'm sorry. This post on Facebook. <laughs> this post on Facebook, man. It, it's it's a good post. It's something that you guys should should try to understand when you're thinking about going to be an owner operator or a lease operator. So before you become an owner operator, don't just see the dollar signs. That's that's what you guys see, y'all. Every time I asked the question like, yo, you know, why are you going lease? Oh, well, because, you know, the money is there. And then when you see other drivers that's talking about leasing or 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 trying to become an owner operator, the first thing they talk about is the money, how much money that they're making, how much money that they're getting. But they but what they fail to tell you guys is that they tell you all the good, but they're not telling you the bad, though. You, you, you got to know some of the bad that comes with it. What's the bad? What would happen if I break down? What would happen if if the truck ain't running? What would happen if, uh, uh, again, would I be able, now being an owner operator, I would have to go and, and, and get another truck, i.e. rent another truck while my truck is in the shop for however long. But if you with another company, how is that going to work out? If your if your lease truck is in the shop, is they going to give you a, a another truck that you can roll until then? And if so, are they going to charge you additional fees like renting or anything of that matter while your truck is in the shop to drive that loaner truck until your truck comes out of the shop? See, those are things you should know. Those are things you should find out. Uh, fuel. Fuel is your biggest expense. It is huge. That's If anything that's on a truck that is a big expense, it is fuel. You definitely, definitely got to know what your fuel, what, 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 what your fuel is. If you go like two, three hundred miles, how much fuel are you going to use to go those two, three hundred miles? You don't want to you, you don't want to put like eight. $800, four, five, $600 in your truck 
on fuel and and the load that you're picking up is not even going to cover that you need if you get like a 500 dollars load then your your fuel cost should be at least a quarter or a third of that so at least you can have a profit all right learn the game first learn it learn it it's not hard to learn you got all these you got all these so-called gurus out here that that that's quote unquote helping you build a trucking company you know you you might want to listen to them but you might not want to listen to them I'm just saying <laughs> i'm just saying have your ears have your ears open and be teachable yes definitely be teachable you gotta you you can't do too much talking that's that's the problem with with some of these new school drivers that's coming into the industry i'm I'm gonna revert back to like when they first come in and then they training and then the trainer is trying to teach them you know how to drive the truck how the truck moves and all like that but you're over there sitting like oh well i know all of this i know all of that and and and, and you, you you can't teach me what i already know but it, Look, if 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 you're not open, okay, if you're not open to get more knowledge, then you don't need to be in the truck. You don't need to be in the truck. You need to put your keys down. You need to put your keys down, hang it up on the wall, and call it a day, bro. But you should always, always be teachable. You should always be teachable and you should always have your ears open no matter what to do. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you do, you should always have your ears open. All right, sorry for that little time out right there. My uh, my safety director came out so that we can uh, get our Sam Sarah back together. You know, the Sam Sarah, uh, the e-log, that's, uh, that's the app that's on the tablet, I really like this app as far as keeping track of your e-logs and everything because if it's messed up on a tablet, you definitely could download it to your phone and keep track of it that way. Just make sure, just make sure that, you know, you have your conditions set and everything in so that you can um, so that you can keep track of your hours of service and all that other good stuff. So, Sam Sarah shout out to my fleet manager i mean not my fleet manager shout out to my safety director thank you for getting your boy back together let's get back at it man um what i was saying about teachable moments be teachable you know don't just be an asshole keep your keep your eyes open your ears you know you keep your eyes open your mouth shut and your ears open so you can catch every little information that's usable to you all right Keep your ears open and be teachable. Maintenance fees and fuel costs can make you or break you. Again, if your truck breaks down for whatever reason, uh, you don't have a maintenance account for it. That's that's you 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 pretty much effed on that. If uh, and again, fuel. If you over if you if you don't fuel to profit, if that makes any sense, fuel. To profit so say for example you pick up a load that's again that's like five hundred dollars or something like that in that five hundred dollars your fuel should be at least a quarter or uh, at least a quarter or three quarters as much as your uh as much as your profit out of that okay make sure you make money that's basically what it's all boils down to when it comes to leasing you got to make sure that you make money and when you're making the money, make sure you save the money. I'm just saying. Your everyday fuel spending, okay? Everyday fuel spending. So you got to you gotta figure out how you're going to do your fuel versus whatever load that you're going to pick up, all right? Just make sure you learn that. The faster you go, the more you, you spend on fuel. True. You know, I'm a company driver, so I do about... I do about 70 on the highway, you know, right quick in a hurry. You, you know, if you want to be fuel conscious, I mean, fuel conscious, you probably might want to do 65. You know, the slower you go, the more fuel you save. Think about that. 
And this is for people that's jumping into leasing, that's jumping into owner operating. You're going to have to learn that. You know, sometimes you might have to learn it the hard way. But if you come over here to this channel, we try to alleviate that for you. So you won't have to learn it the hard way. All right. Now, build a relationship with your dispatcher and broker. Yes, definitely build a relationship. The relationship between you and the dispatcher, if it's a great relationship between the two, then your time with the company is going to be freaking awesome. All right. If you get a good dispatcher that knows how you run, that knows that that knows what you want and how to do it then you and that dispatcher is going to be good. Now, if you get a dispatcher that just don't care, that messes you around, that messes with your money, you don't need that dispatcher. You don't need to be with that company. You need to jump ship, try to get with a company that that has dispatchers there that's that's that knows what you want and how you want and 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 how much and, and not to mess with your money. All right? Same thing with the brokers. You you get a you get a messed up broker that's not getting you a load to uh, that you could get a profit out of. You don't need to mess with that broker. All right. Leave that broker alone. All right. Now, check this out. All right. All right. I know that you want to jump into this and be like, yo, I want to do this all by myself. I want to do this. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, this, that, the third. I don't. I don't. No, 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 no. Get some help, my G. All right. Get some help. It's not. It's not bad to ask for help. It's not bad to ask for help at all. You. You know. You want to be the driver. You want to be the commander. You want to be. You want to be the this, that, and the third. You want to be all of that. But you. You're gonna need some help. And, and the type of help I'm talking about, get yourself a CPA because you're going to need somebody to handle them taxes. You're a truck driver. You might not be able to handle that by yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get uh, if, 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 Unless you're a CPA yourself, you know, but you might not can handle that yourself. I'm just saying. Uh, get yourself a CPA. Handle the taxes. All right. Get yourself to ha get yourself somebody that can handle the paperwork. Get get yourself uh, now, I, as I said before about a dispatcher, especially if you're an owner operator, because a lot of you guys like to dispatch yourselves, you know, but if you have somebody to, you know, get the loads for you, that takes the stress off of you. Think about Think about these celebrities and these ball players and all like that, these sports stars and all like that. They got assistants. They got people that help them. To go through their everyday life. Like all LeBron has to do is concentrate on basketball. Period. Basketball. That's it. He has somebody else to do his day-to-day -day operations. Like somebody want him for a commercial. Somebody want him to do a movie. Somebody he don't have to answer phone calls and all like that. You don't have to do all that. He got somebody to help him. And the same thing goes in trucking. When you have somebody to help you that you can trust, then that e that alleviates all the stress off of you. And you could just concentrate on what you do best. And that is driving this truck. All right. That focus. Focus. You get somebody to focus on the paperwork. You get somebody to focus on the lows. You get somebody to focus on your taxes. You will be all right. Now, I know, new driver, I know that it's going to be hard to find people, but that's trial and error, too. You know, sometimes you want to bring your family members into the midst. <sighs> Family and money just don't mix. Sometimes you want to bring your friends into the mix. <sighs> Family, I mean, friends and money don't even mix. You, you just, I know it's going to be trial and error, but when you find somebody good that knows what they're doing and how, and how they're doing it, that's the person you need to be on your team. All right? All you have to do is to focus on your driving and everybody else will focus on the business aspect. Now, not not to take that away, 
not not to take that away because you know somebody gonna try to come in there and be like yo you know all I'm, I'm i'm doing this for i'm doing this for abc trucking and all like that but you know i'm trying to slide some money mm -mm, mm -mm, don't work don't work uh-uh no don't slide the money bro yo you do what you're supposed to do and if you start messing up then i'm gonna have to get somebody else they're gonna have to get somebody else you know but in any case in any case new driver you want to become a owner operator or a lease driver hopefully this advice or this you know hopefully this advice or you know or what i just stated help you out i hope it does and if anything else that you may need reach out to me and i will try to help you out and to, and and get you to be a successful uh truck driver out here all right my name is lockout man i am for the new jets the new guys the new people the new students everybody that's coming out into the industry yo if you find my content right here you can find me on tiktok here on youtube and on instagram at lockout men lockout men podcast on tiktok and lockout men podcast show here on youtube thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it if you find any value in this content please leave a like it does work it is free it helps and it does what it's supposed to do all right until next time everybody y'all take it easy and i will come back at you with another one peace